the first OLED TVs publicly known to be using the brightest 3000 nit Meta 2 technology with MLA Plus panel from LG Display have been announced and they are going to be the OLED Plus 959 and the OLED Plus 909 from Philips TV. Designated as the company's flagship TV for 2024, the Philips 959 will come in one single screen size of 65 inches, featuring a twin-chip version of the 8th Gen P5 AI picture processing engine, as well as 5.1.2 Bowers & Wilkins sound system with 102 watts of power. When I visited South Korea to cover the launch of LG Display's second-generation MLA OLED panel, I was informed that two versions with different brightness levels have been prepared, namely a 2300 nit panel and a brighter panel with Meta Multi Booster algorithm capable of reaching 3000 nits of peak brightness on a 3% window, albeit at panel native white point of close to 10,000 kelvins. Philips TV will be the first TV brand publicly confirmed to be using the 3000 nit second generation MLA OLED panel with Meta 2 technology, which could make the OLED Plus 959 and the OLED Plus 909 the brightest OLED TVs on the market. Besides improvements at the brighter end, one major advantage I found with LG Display's Meta 2 technology is the Detail Enhancer feature which worked extremely well to eradicate the notorious near-black chrominance overshoot of flashing artifacts commonly seen on WOLED TVs. So the OLED Plus 959 and 909 should be the first OLED models from Philips TV to be free of this issue. The flagship Philips 959 will be using a dual-chip version of the new 8th Gen P5 AI picture processor based upon the MediaTek Pentonic 1000 chipset, which is not difficult to work out given the TV's support for Dolby Vision Gaming up to 144Hz VRR. Interestingly, in addition to a new game bar that offers more quick access settings than before, the Philips 959 909 and 809 will provide an MEMC gaming functionality that can let gamers set the TV's motion processing to smooth while keeping latency to 31 milliseconds. This concept is similar to the Game Motion Plus setting first introduced on Samsung TVs some time ago, allowing gamers to engage motion interpolation to reduce judder in 30 frames per second games without increasing input lag substantially. The OLED Plus 959 will also see the debut of Philips' new, ultra-sophisticated Ambilight Plus system that adds multiple lenses to the individual rear-mounted color LEDs, creating a more dynamic, larger overall halo with higher resolution. Four different halos can be projected at different depths to add a new two-dimensional impact to the overall immersive effect, although for balance and symmetry, we would have liked to see four-sided instead of three-sided Ambilight, which Philips admitted was necessary to keep cost under control. Sound-wise, the flagship Philips OLED Plus 959 is equipped with a new Bowers & Wilkins 5.1.2 integrated sound system discreetly housed within the TV's chassis, with grey quadrat cloth covering the forward, side and up firing speaker enclosures. The OLED Plus 959 will be available from the third quarter this year, with the option of wall mounting or floor standing via a minimalist metal stand. One rung down from the Philips 959 is the OLED Plus 909 series, which features a second-generation MLA OLED panel with Meta Multi Booster Algorithm, integrated Bowers & Wilkins 3.1 sound system, as well as four-sided Ambilight. Its 8th Gen P5 AI processor is only single chip, but the Philips 909 will still support the upgraded Ambient Intelligence version 3 technology that automatically adjusts the HDR settings according to the ambient light levels to maintain a watchable HDR presentation even in bright viewing conditions. Available in 3 screen sizes of 55, 65 and 77 inches, the Philips OLED Plus 909 is supported on a pair of low-profile, pill-shaped metallic feet, and of course can be wall-mounted if so wished. The mid-range Philips 809 lacks MLA, but will carry an OLED EX panel that's brighter than last year's, the new 8th Gen P5 AI processor, 3-sided Ambilight, and all the new gaming features. The Philips OLED 809 will come in 5 screen sizes, 
although the smallest 42 and 48 inch 809 won't go as bright as larger models owing to lower pixel aperture ratio. In terms of design, the 809 sits on a swivel stand with a trapezoidal base, except for the biggest 77 inch which uses a pair of pill shaped feet not dissimilar to the 909s. The entry level Philips 759 will use an OLED EX panel that's slightly dimmer than the 8 series, though will boast for HDMI 2.1 ports courtesy of a new Novatech chipset. If you are undecided about which Philips OLED TV to buy, one place where you can get good advice is at Richard Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer who has won the Best Retailer of the Year award from which Consumers Association for the fifth time in the last six years. Richard Sounds has more than 50 stores in the UK, and to get the best deal, advice, and demonstration, go visit your local Richard Sounds store to meet the knowledgeable staff and see the televisions yourself. Thanks again for your support. Okay, although I do not expect to receive the Philips OLED Plus 959 for review anytime soon, I've managed to do some measurements on a second generation MLA OLED panel and you can find out how bright it gets by watching my first look video here.